All right, well, look, just tell me, what do you... I mean, the film is incredibly intense to watch. Why do you think it is intense? Um, I think it's intense because, because of the director. I mean, Michael Hanna, it's an intense film. <laughs> your, your character, he does break the fourth wall. Mm. Why does he do that? Well, I... <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, I I think that's probably a question for, for for Michael. I I, I think possibly um, to engage the audience. You know, when you say engage the audience, is that to kind of make the audience complicit in what's going on? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what's the point of that? Uh, I think, um, like I said, you know, it's not. I'm I'm, I'm not the director, so I, um, I I think. I think he did that. I think it's just one way uh, he used to tell the story, you know, and it works. Why do you think then this is more effective than a conventional th thriller? Because there are these little techniques, aren't there? You know, like breaking the fourth wall and other things. I, I think it's. I think that it's good to be reminded uh, in film that there um, that there aren't any rules that you have to follow. And uh, I think with the with the fourth wall and and you know also with the uh, remote control, um, he's breaking this these these rules that we're sort of as, as audience members we're set up um, to believing we have to to follow them. And I think it's good um, to be reminded that you can do anything in in film. Do you think in a way it does speak to the technique of the director that he has your character saying suddenly looking into the camera talking to the audience and for the audience that can obviously suspends disbelief but then they go straight back into the film thinking that this is fiction or they're part of the whole game again? Mm. What's the question? Does it really speak to his ability as a director, do you think, to pull that off? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's not, e it's not an easy thing to do. Did he give you very specific direction about that? He was very specific with with um, with what he wanted. We we did many takes of it, you know. Sometimes I understood where where he was going. Sometimes I didn't. If I can just move on to you, if that's okay. Thanks very much. I mean, just tell me. I mean, why, to your mind? I'm just repeating some of these questions. That's do you okay, think sure. it's, it's so effective, so intense, this film? Um. Well, because. Uh, because it's very, very well made, and it's just as smart as it is scary, I think. Um, and so, it's an intense combo. And in, in what way do you feel does it defy the expectations that people might have of a thriller? Um, in, in almost every way, um, because he, he sets up genre cliches and then, and then you know, turns, them, turns them on their ear. Do you, do you think it's, in a way, difficult for an audience not to have the conventions fulfilled because people do want a happy ending a lot of the time, don't they? It's very frustrating, but it's also exhilarating. Um, and even though uh, an audience might feel initially cheated, um, I, I, I don't think it's long before uh, a sense of satisfaction sets in. The film is a frame-by-frame -frame remake. When people hear that, they might think it's a bit of a, a gimmick that uh, somebody is doing that. I think they did it a couple of years ago with Psycho, a film like that. I mean, what, what, what is the point of having a frame-by-frame -frame remake? Well, um, you, you'll have to ask Michael, but I, at least my, my take on it, or what he'd said to me once, was that he directed the same play in different countries and different languages. The text stayed the same, the blocking stays, uh, stays the same. The only thing that would change um, were the performances, and uh, and he said that that the film could only be ma made in one way. If you change if you change the the look or the feel of the film, then you also have to rewrite the script. Mm -hmm. So he just couldn't see it any other way.